Now let's come with the more modified definition of probability as dedicated to one of the mathematician called Simon Laplace. So there are many mathematicians who have come up with different modifications on definition of probability but the most accurate definition we are going to take now is the probability of occurring of an event E is given by denoted with P of E is number of outcomes favorable to event E by total number of possible outcomes. is how we come out with the most modified definition of probability, the theoretical probability of happening of an event E or occurring of an event E given by number of outcomes favorable to event E by total number of possible outcomes. Let's see, let's see an example problem connected with understanding the probability through the mathematical formula. So what is sample space? Sample space is very important before we start with the problems of probability using the mathematical formula as defined in the recent session. Now before we start with the problems, sample space has its own definition. What is sample space? The definition says set of all possible outcomes of an event E is called the sample space. Say for example, we all know what a dice is. Usually we use this dice in playing a game where you have one dot and then we have two dots and then we have three dots or four, five, six, etc. So in this dice, I have totally <coughs> set of all possible outcomes when I throw a die is I may get a 1 on the top, a 2 on the top, a 3 on the top, a 4, 5, 6, anything on the top. But I cannot get a 7 at the most on the top. Therefore, the set of all possible outcomes of the event E here being throwing of a dice while playing a game is the event E here let's see what are the possible outcomes. The sample space denoted by generally S for this particular problem is nothing but the first possibility is I may get a 1 and then I may get a 2, 3, 4, 5 or a 6 when I throw a die. So when I throw a die sample space is 1 to 6. So here this is throwing of a dice. Say I take one more example tossing of a coin which we have done. So when I take a coin and this coin when I toss it I have heads and then the other side we have tails. Therefore when I toss this the event here is tossing of a coin. Therefore, my sample space is either getting a head or a tail because the top can be either head or tail is what is the sample space here. In this problem, the sample space is this. Is how we understand the sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an event A. For dice being the possible outcomes is 1 to 6 and for a coin being the possible outcomes are either head or a tail.